These are pictures of the stolen carnival rides. A white horse and a helicopter taken sometime last week between Saturday, March 17th and Wednesday the 21st. They each weigh around 400 pounds. That's why Steve Canning, who doesn't want to show his face on camera, says whomever took the coin-operated rides had a discerning eye. You have to be a collector to really appreciate it. It's not like you're stealing tools and selling them at the pawn shop. And these are uh, very big collectible items uh, that you don't see everywhere. So they stick out like a sore thumb. A sore thumb with the right tools like a dolly and a truck or flatbed to do the job. Canning says the thieves likely came in through the front door when no one was around, then unlocked the large door from the inside and wrestled the old time rides away. Muscled them in there somehow, which means it was obviously more than one person. Uh, you know, uh, two or three beefy guys could lift one because they weigh about 400 to 500 pounds apiece. So, yeah, you're not going to, you can tilt one up and you can force it around, but you're not going to be able to just deadlift it. This warehouse is a hodgepodge of antiques, collectibles, and all kinds of things used in movies or sold to restaurants and designers. But it's unlikely the thieves stumbled upon the find. Canning sells these items by appointment only. And he hopes it wasn't an inside job by associates of the warehouse. The rides are each worth about $1,000. I tell you, I honestly suspect it's probably going to wind up in some auction house or some collector's place. Canning says he realizes he'll likely never get these items back, but says in the future the owner plans to take better security precautions. In Baltimore, Theo Hayes, WBAL-TV 11 News.